So Connor Chadwick, one third the mind behind One Life Remaining, could you tell us absolutely everything that you know about it? Well, we started coming up with the ideas for One Life Remaining in about late December time when me and Keith Gover were talking over Skype and at college about the ideas and everything, how to adapt story. Um, as we adapted over the ideas during the client brief, we, um, whilst doing that we were also adapting ideas and signing on scripts for part one. It was originally, this FMP was originally going to be four parts. Yes. And uh, before we decided to change it to one part, as it would be a little bit easier. Yeah. Um, halfway through, um, I think it was January, maybe even the end of January, uh, Jack Snelling joined us. Yeah. In the, to make the. He's uh, another director, isn't he? Yeah, he's one of them. Yeah. yeah. And um, we, as we went along with ideas, we finished part one and part two. Yeah. Which we're going to do parts two, three, and four over the over the summer coming up. And uh, as part one is going to be hopefully done by around about the beginning of May sort of time. Hmm. It stars um, Keaton Gover as Blue, uh, Jack Snelling as Jasper, Yeah. Uh, myself as Carlos but only briefly. So the directors are cast in it as well? And that's why everyone directs so that yeah. everyone can direct. So you have a fair share to talk, yeah. And that's why I suppose everyone stars in it, so if me and if me and Keaton were in a shot, Jack would film it and then if Keaton and Jack were in a shot, I'd film it. And, and vice versa, person. yeah. Um, with um, as well as that, uh, we've got uh, Aiden Keys as Phil and uh, Paul Byer as James. And I think in the, f in the next part, we've got Christopher Gould as Count Dreadful, which yeah. is, which is uh, going to be quite interesting. Um, we've also got Ollie Silcock as Ian, yeah. or people like to call him Liam. We're not entirely sure which one it is, but we'll decide by the time it's done. Um, as we came up with ideas, we uh, sort of based it around the Hunger Games and Scott Pilgrim vs. the World, and a little bit of Utopia because of the cinematography was yeah. very good and it really inspired uh, Keaton definitely to want to do similar cine uh, cinematography. But as we came around the story, we decided to make it very similar to Video Game High School, which is a uh, a uh, YouTube series made by a YouTuber called Freddie Wong, mm. which is around. Um, as sort of a, uh, some sort of cup or something. So you're in inspired by independent filmmaking online? Mm, yeah, yeah, and I, I, th I thought the series was very good because mm. this guy's very good at After Effects. It's where you're, you're at this school and you get put into a completely different world, like yeah. a virtual reality, and you have to shoot people to win the game, which is similar to the Yolo Club, Club yeah. Cup in um, One Life Remaining. And um, essentially, throughout the whole four parts, we get a little bit more depth with characters, like Jasper finds a love interest, um, Blue I think is just trying to find his feet in terms of video gaming and, and Carlos just stares yeah. and all that but um, the main, I think the main story is, um, the main thing is sort of friendship and being a team and everything like that, that's what I personally think it is anyway yeah. but in terms of uh, all the work and everything like that we've had to do for paperwork, yeah. we've uh, had to do it all individually, such as pitches and presentations, yep. and all that. We've been trying to. Uh, Is this for assessment? Yeah, we've yeah. been trying to find a way of being able to um, do it justice because it's so similar to loads of other ideas. There yeah. was actually a film I think recently that got released. So you want to differentiate yeah. from? There was, there was actually a recent film that was released with a young boy playing like a an adult mm. in the video game shooting around and we were a bit like gutted that they got to it before us so we wanted to make sure it was different and possibly similar to Surrogates, a film called Surrogates star Bruce Willis mm. where they would go every morning when they wake up they go in and have a surrogate body so yeah. they can't be killed or anything like that, sort of similar to that I suppose I like the idea of it um, but apart from that we've been filming since the middle of March, yeah. 19th of March, I think was our first proper filming day with Ross Howard, who plays Duke Milk at the Mud Hills in Leon C. Mm. And since then we filmed quite a few blocks of, of scenes and filming, like Danny, I think, which is Thursday 25th of April, we're filming um, Keaton Gover and Jack Snelling scenes in the uh, downstairs toilets yeah. for after a scene which we filmed the other day, which Jack could make it for. So we're going to finish that, and then we're going to be doing some more scenes with application lady, and I think a novice interview. But I think apart from that, we hope to get it done by the at least the beginning of May. So hopefully it'll be awesome. I think I think that's it. All right, then. Thank you.